There are many species amongst the stars, separated by the vast eternal gulf between worlds. There are allies steadfast and enemies most foul. But there is one species that I long to fully understand. Let me tell you of the humans. It was long ago when I was young, first learning my glyphs, in fact, and how to clutch a starless and write my name when the humans made contact with us. It was their first contact, and they showed such an exuberance that was almost unheard of. Their diplomats, artists, merchants, and journalists swarmed over our worlds, so excited to finally make contact with intelligent life. They wanted to know everything. Our history, our culture, our biology. We treated them like one would treat a curious child, after all. They were so much similar, and their accomplishments so much fewer than ours. We tolerated their presence, and they loved us for it. It would have remained this way were it not for the Quirilef invasion. We were blindsided, unprepared for a war of this magnitude, unsure of why a species would simply throw away centuries of peace and prosperity, ignore every law and treaty the pan-species coalition has created. But the humans rallied alongside us. Their weapons were crude, their ships were small, their soldiers stunted and scrawny, and yet they were prepared to die to help us, their brothers. We all know how the invasion went. The humans scavenged, stole, and adapted anything they could get a grip on. By the end of the war, their ships were as manoeuvrable as ours, as resilient as ours, and, I hate to admit it, outclassed us completely in firepower. But the humans never demanded tribute for their assistance. They split the crushed Quelef worlds evenly, smiling as they forced the scattered remnants to sign treaty after treaty, encouraging us to take whatever we could from them. There are few creatures in this universe more cunning and wily than a human diplomat. They have a way of making you feel as though you cheated them, while they dip their hands into your pockets and take all you hold dear. I did not truly make a human's acquaintanceship until some time later, after I had enlisted in the self-defense forces. I was assigned to assist a human platoon in a joint operation during the Badashi conflict, the humans finding our combat armatures to be a most excellent complement to their infantry formation during the guerrilla warfare on that blasted Fen world. It was there that I learned of the human mindset. Humans take to war like no other species I have encountered. They suffer the scars of battle the same as any, but they show an adaptability that is most remarkable. I have seen a human soldier stay up 16 standard units, staring ahead, unblinking and vigilant. I have seen a human watch his brother die and still remain fighting. I have seen a human swinging his utility knife towards the gullet of a Badashi stormtrooper, even as it bared down upon him and commanded him to lay down his arms. But there is one moment I remember most clearly. One human I had become close to, by the name of Josiah, was injured during a heavy firefight in the muck fields. The Badash were bearing down on our position, and Josiah was nearly dead. We could extract him, but he would live the rest of his life a cripple, and it would drastically reduce our chances of escape. Josiah motioned for us to retreat, struggling against me when I attempted to scoop him up and carry him. Go on, you stalk-eyed fuck, he shouted at me. I'll be fine. The rest of his platoon nodded and dragged me away, despite my protest. I heard the badash burst through the tree line as we retreated deep into cover, and I heard Josiah gave a choking gasp. Josiah detonated his full complement of explosives as the badash were upon him, wiping out their entire force and turning the muck fields into a dried pit of ash. Later, I asked one of our comrades, Conrad, why he did that. The Badash would have allowed him surrender, would have given him medical treatment. Conrad gave a sneer and nodded. Josiah did it to spite those slimy Badash ashramers. He took me some time to understand this concept of spite. The humans, it is a desire, a will to harm, annoy or 
otherwise inconvenience a foe by any means necessary, even at harm to themselves. And as the Badashi conflict continued, I saw more examples of this spite, as the humans burned their colonies and scuttled their ships, just to deny the Badash use of them. And that is why I hold a bit of fear for our tiny friends, a species who is so determined not to win, but to cause his enemy harm that he is willing to destroy what he holds most dear. It is a strange concept, and yet they thrive. The galaxy holds many wonders, and I am proud to have met one of them.